Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You ever notice how most presentations suck? I mean, it's bad enough that most people doing the presentation suck. It's even worse that they just can't design their way out of anything. The best presentations are the ones that use pictures and not a lot of words and are easily visible from across the room. You would want to use a brighter text atop a darker background if you decided to go that route. The ones that suck are the ones that read everything verbatim from each and every slide. I hate presentations. I do. I, I re honestly, I do. I hate presentations. But you're probably going to need to build one at some point in the future. What are you using? Desktop software? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's, uh, that's just so... Uh, 1995. No one uses desktop software to create presentations unless you're using Keynote. That's a part of the iWorks suite uh, from Apple. I love Keynote. They make beautiful presentations for you and you don't need to even know anything about how to build a presentation. So much better than PowerPoint. Some of you still, of course, use PowerPoint. Some people use open source options. You might even use Google Docs. Uh, they have a presentation um, compiler, viewer, editor there docs.google.com featured them a while ago but now adobe is throwing their hat into the ring they've got a, a basic online office suite it's been around for a while however they just announced this particular edition presentation software right here if you head over to labs.adobe.com and yes adobe the same people that bring you the reader that allows you to view pdfs or flash which wasn't originally adobe's but they they have it now Hopefully at some point in the future, it'll suck a heck of a lot less. They're also the people who bring you Adobe Air, you know, Air apps that run cross-platform. Wonderful stuff, including this. Now, you're thinking to yourself, why would I use this? I've already got uh, the presentation software installed on my computer. Don't need it. Ah, but what happens when you want to collaborate with other people? You'd have to email them this gigantic presentation file and hope they have the right software to convert it, view it, edit it. Huh, it's a pain in the neck. If you're planning on doing any kind of collaboration please use a web service use this one it's free labs.adobe.com you'll need an adobe id which at this point you probably have if not you might want to do it because adobe is likely going to be releasing more and more online services as just about every big name on the web is doing these days so here it is we're in acrobat.com labs labs.adobe.com and and you can see uh, i've got some options here this is the the slide uh, thumbnail and of course the original slide right there click to add title blah 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 blah, blah. click to add subtitle blah 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 and then i've got different options including the ability to change how it looks this this presentation so i can go with green if i wanted to i can change the uh, colors uh, I can choose the transitions, dissolve, move, zoom, blur, uh, change uh, the arrangement of objects inside a particular slide. Of course, I got basic editing features as well, new, open, etc. This is the design option, uh, kind of the toolbar. I can choose another option, another option, another option, another option. So I've got all of these features that I can add or edit in my presentation. So this, this is the shapes tool, the list tool tool, the text tool, the slide tool, and then, uh, oh wow, I like that. It made it all 3D and everything. I don't know if you're able to perceive that effect from such a distance, but it's definitely nice. Now, when I want to share this with somebody, I go to the bottom of the page, and there is right here, I zoom in really close, there's the share option. Here, I click the share button and then add people by email address. So I'll click share, kind of grays out, and then in the middle of the slide, if I can find it without zooming out, there we go type an email address or choose from the list. And more importantly, I can choose to change that person's role. So I can have them set as a co-author if I wanted to. So I can add as many people as I want and we can collaborate and create and edit this presentation together. That above any other feature is what makes a web-based presentation, viewer, editor, etc., so much better than a desktop app. So there you go, labs.adobe.com. They've got the presentation app online right now. Now, if you know of any other really cool tools that exist on the web, you know, something that anybody could use so long as you have a broadband connection, I'd assume, uh, email me, chris at perillo.com. I'd love to take a look, possibly share it with the rest of our community at geeks.perillo.com. Close to 20,000 tech experts there now. Quite a few of you. Very happy to report that. And of course, we've also got this chat room, which is a part of the live video feed going out over the web. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech.
at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.